Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a whole Mystery Booster Convention Edition box for patrons and the channel. So this is the one from 2021, not the original. The original, I think, is sky-high pricing. All right, so let's get these out of here, and then we will introduce the patrons so I think we've got, what is it, 24 packs here of goodness. Alright, today's patrons, we have Nova Entropy and Flying Pork Products. Okay, so let's grab one here and one here. And we will get stuck into it. Mystery Booster Convention Edition. We're looking for stuff like the Mana Crypt. Ristic Study, Demonic Tutor, and tons more. So there are actually, I think, over a thousand cards in this set. So we're not going to go through in great detail. If I see anything jump out at me, then I will note it. Otherwise, we will move on. Okay, so let's get to the uncommons. Here we have Millstone and Dungrove Elder for the rare. Along with a Taurian Mauler and Sliv Mizzet Hivemind. Yes, they have test cards in this set. Hilarious. On to the next one here. So have you got stuck into any mystery boosters? These are actually pretty cool for drafting as well. So well worth picking up if you can get a box for a decent price. Next up we have Manglehorn, Raph Capuchin Ship's Mage, Guardians of My Lettuce, and Asceticism for the rare. Along with Urza's Rage and Unicycle. Alright. So yeah, there's a bit of a pattern you might have noticed. I'll slow down a bit on this next pack so we can see it. So we have two white cards, two blue... Oh, Demonic Tudor! Ding, 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 ding! Okay, big hit. As I was saying, we got Willow the Wisp in black, Glassfire Bolt. So red, green, and then we have like a dual color here. Baleful Strix, Dark Steel Citadel, Enchanted Evening, Basilisk Collar, and a Buried Ogre. Holy crap! Right off the bat. So uh, let's whack this in a sleeve. Demonic Tutor, one of the big hits in this set. Awesome. Okay, on to our next pack. I'm really surprised at uh, the price of Ristic Study as well. That is just ridiculous. So let's see anything jumping out. Oh, Ancestral Mask. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork on that one as well. We've got Larger Than Life, Citadel Castan. Milliken, Brimstone Dragon, and Boros Reckoner for the rare, followed by a Problematic Volcano. So that one's a World Enchantment. Let's get into our next pack. Been a while since we've got into any Mystery Boosters. I used to have a uh, ton of them on the channel uh, early on when it first came out, just because... They weren't that expensive, and you could get some cool pulls. We've got Tatchover, Benthic Druid, Mishra's Factory, Timely Reinforcements, and Mirren Crusader, along with Abian Luvion Usurper. Holy moly, look at the detail in that artwork. I can hardly believe it. It's fun seeing what squiggles I've come up with. And they don't actually have the artist's names there, so a little disappointing. Uh, let's see what we can get out of this next one. So mainly just trying to get towards the end of the pack here to speed things up. We have Terminate, Sandstone Oracle, Bone Splitter, and Wheel of Fate for the rare. Along with Squidnapper, a Squid Pirate. Okay, that one's a bit more detailed. So yeah, probably an artist at Watsy did that one. Alright, on to the next one, and then I think we'll do a uh, patron pack after this. So, let's see. 
Anything there? No, nothing jumping out at me. Next up we have High Spire Mantis Copper Carapace. Dominus of Filthy for the rare. And a mythic Nissa voice of Zendikar. Awesome pull. And truth or dare. Okay, so let's make some room here. Thank you for being a patron at Nova Entropy. And the patrons getting everything in their pack today. And looks like Nova Entropy already doing pretty well with a Basiju who endures. Ooh, propaganda. There's a nice pull. And let's see what else we got here. Let's go to about there. And we have Ethereal Ambush, followed by Short Sword. Questing Feldegriff. Congratulations, you got a Flying Hippo and Yuroko, or Yuriko, the Tiger's Shadow. It's actually a good commander card. And Priority Avenger Bird Wizard. With a derpy bird there. Okay, so enjoy the pulls there. Nova Entropy. Pop that in there for you. And we will continue with the channel packs. So let's see what we can get in this next one. That Demonic Tutor. Clearly one of the big hits so far. Hoping we see more stuff like that. That would be awesome. Okay, we have Shambling Remains. Crystal Chimes, I thought that was decent at one point, and Harkon Stromgold Scourge from Cold Snap, along with Jin of Wishes, another rare, and Command the Shaft. Okay, the uh, that's the stuff you get left with after the draft. Basically, uh, at the LGS, a lot of people would just leave that stuff on the table. Oh, Felidar Guardian, you naughty card. Banned at one point. And let's get through to here. We have Esper Charm. Skarg the Rage Pits. I think that one's over a buck as well. Core Chant. And Teferi's Protection. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, we'll sleeve that one in a second. You're in command. Okay, so... Uh, Maybe this video will end up in the greatest hits playlist at this rate. The greatest hits in channel history. Link in the corner in case you've never heard of that. I'm going to say we are about halfway through so far. Making some good time here. Really enjoying the opening so far. I hope you are as well. And on to the dual colored cards here. We've got Mist Meadow Witch. Mere Retriever, Imperial Armor, and Commit to Memory from Arm and Ket. Split card and Bucket List. Yes. What is on your bucket list? Is it to open a Black Lotus or something? I think that dream is getting further and further away at this point. Or even just owning one. Uh, a little bit pricey. Okay, so let's continue. Nothing really leaping out at me. Leave a note in the comments if you see anything I miss. Try to chuck a timestamp in there and let us know. Okay, we've got Quasali, Pride Mage, Bone Saw, Flame Shot, and a Mythic, Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite, another Sleeveworthy Pool, and Do Over. All right. Yeah, doing well with the pulls today. So, what is that? Like, three hits. Nissa is decent, but I wouldn't really put it in the hit category. I could be wrong. Um, you might have noticed so I'm not putting up prices here. Just because doing a price check on a thousand plus cards in a set. Little bit time consuming. So, yeah, don't really have the time for that. At this point, but I hope you enjoy it just the same. We've got Unflinching Courage, Mere Sire, and Defense of the Heart. What is going on? Nice. And Revel in Riches, along with a Q of Beetles. So Defense, I think, is another great pull. Some of these boxes have not been fantastic, but others like this really cranking out the hits. 
I am well pleased with this one. Okay, next, let's see here. White, blue, black, red, green. And we have a Riptide Crab. And believe it or not, there is uh, quite a bit of value in the common and uncommon slot in this set. Iron Tread Crusher. Dorthai Mind Ripper. I love the artwork on that one. And Mythic. We got Doretti Scrap Savant. A Goblin, yes. Okay, so two Mythics there. And Bind to Liberate. You got the dog there with the little thing around his neck. We tried that with our cats once. There was something, I think they had some surgery or whatever. These these brothers, our orange brothers. And uh, yeah, those uh, things we put around their necks, they tore them off in like two seconds. So not a good idea. Those guys weren't happy with that. We have Prophetic Bolt. And you'll notice the uh, missing symbol there. I think that's intentional. What is up with the focus here? Ether Hub, nice. And Null Spine Dragon for the rare, followed by Mirror Entity. I like the alien looking dudes on that one. And Frontier Explorer, a cat scout. Speaking of cats. Okay, so let's get through this one and then we will go to our next patron. See if we can get some hits for them. So, oh, Sacred Cat. Yep, yeah, now all the cats are going to start appearing. They're like you called. Okay, so we have Hammer Dropper. I remember that guy was uh, Guilds, wasn't it? Meteorite. And Squirrel Wrangler. Check it out. Uh, an army of... Uh, Wild Squirrels there, a little bit scary. Shamanic Revelation, another rare. And Bear with Sets Mechanic. Okay then, a bear riding a horse. Not sure what's going on there. Okay, next up, we have Flying Pork Products. Thank you for being a patron. Also doing well this month with a Gin Gataxius Core Auger. Can we improve that even more? Something crazy here for you. Okay, so we have Kiora's Follower, a merfolk, followed by a messy tome, timely reinforcements, and a mythic. Yes, Liver Hive Lord. Awesome, we'll sleeve it up for you. And Jasconian Isle, Island Fish. Okay, that's like uh, Arix Methes, isn't it? The uh, Island that turns into a Kraken. Holy moly. Okay, the pools are flying thick and fast here. Awesome pools. Enjoy that one. Flying pork products. Okay, so let's move these up here. And we're on the home stretch here, people. Doing really well. I think this video honestly deserved a place in the Greatest Hits playlist. So that is fantastic. I was sort of hoping it would. Okay, next up we have Shipwreck Singer, Spy Kit, Viashino Sandstalker from Visions, and Hornet Nest. Okay, along with Yorgmoth's Testament, we've got some Phyrexian writing there. Uh, let me know if you were able to translate that. If not, you can probably look it up on Scryfall. You know what they need is... Uh, Train an AI on some Phyrexian. See if it can translate for us. Street Wraith. Good. And this thing is crazy. Plax Caster Frogling. Not such a crazy card other than the artwork. But still, let me know in the comments. I could be totally mistaken. We got Grape Pelt Refuge. Chatter of the Squirrel. Loving it. And Torment of Hailfire. Yes, this is the one you like repeating. Repeat the following process X times. I hated that card. And Witty Demon. I was usually on the receiving end of the uh, Torment of Hailfire. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get into a, another pack of goodness here. Still looking for the Ristic Study. Catacomb Croc. My mate is here as well. Awesome. And plenty of goblins as well. We have Fusion Elemental in every color of the Magic Rainbow. Trepanation Blade. 
Brimstone Dragon and Precursor Golem for the rare, followed by Corrupted Key. That reminds me of that Lock and Key show. Uh, Joe Hill, the original comic books, those were awesome. I think they did a decent job with the show. It was on Netflix as well. So let's get into our next pack here. And we have Reflector Mage. I think that one was decent at one point. Reprinted a bunch since then. We've got Unclaimed Territory and Belbay's Portal. Loving the old school artwork on that one. Followed by Mind Spring and Biting Remark. Okay, so we're down to three packs. Holy moly. This box has just flown by. Leave a note in the comments if you'd like to see more mystery boosters here. Having a lot of fun with this set. Can we see anything awesome in that first section? I don't think so. We've got Shardless Agent, followed by a new Benalia. Kragenwick Cremator is the rare. It's a bit of an odd one. And Coveted Jewel, along with Bane Slayer Aspirant. All right. Uh, pop him over here. Two packs left, and if you like to see a lot of awesome cards from throughout Magic History, check out our One of Every Pack series. We went all the way back to Antiquities. Link in the corner. Check it out. That was an awesome series. Sadly, prohibitively expensive these days. I think I, I did that one in 2021. We've got Eris's Champion. Farmstead Glena, Release the Ants. Okay, that looks okay. Goblin there. Awesome. And Colligan's Command. That is a decent pull. Along with Blood Poet. Alright, final pet magic. Can we find the Mana Crypt? Or you know what? I would be happy with a Rhystic Study. But yeah, rare as Hen's Teeth. Pretty hard to find in these. Let's go. So we have... Godfarrow's Faithful, Rot Feaster Maggot, delightful, and here we go, final pack magic, we have Vengeful Rebirth, Universal Automaton, Pestilence, some awesome artwork on that one though, and Sewer Nemesis, ooh, he's delightful, followed by Inspirational Antelope. Okay, so that wraps it up. Another Mystery Booster Convention edition. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.